Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here is yet another part of a jewelry jar. I think we're on part three now, and here is the necklace that I was having trouble untangling um, in the previous section. And I'll just remind you that it was uh, a Tresca. Oops, oops, if it's right side up, a Tresca necklace. And I love this chain on the top that comes down to a filigree ball. And then below it, it has these three pieces sort of layered together. This is metal. These are plastic. And then it, it goes to this large ring, which then has, um, I guess you'd call it a tassel, with various things uh, coming off of the chains of the tassel. So this copper chain has a ball on the end. This um, gold, uh, this silver chain has a, a little plastic drop. This copper chain also has um, a cross coming from it. There's one chain with, uh, uh, you know, a pseudo coin, a chain that doesn't have anything on it. I'm not sure something's broken off or fallen off. There's another chain with nothing on it, and I'm wondering if this glitzy feather or leaf, whatever, belonged on here somewhere. But it looks like it could have been there, because that came out of the part two. Another one of those rings. Uh, this is a heavy plastic bead. So there's about, there's, what did I see? One, one, two, three three chains with nothing on them and I don't know if they're supposed to have anything on them. So this is quite an elaborate necklace. Um, certain, you know, certainly um, you'd have to uh, have some panache to pull off that style. I think it, there's lots of repurposable pieces here. I simply love this chain. So I don't know if I'm going to let it continue to be a Tresca necklace what I'm going to do with it. I'll see what more I can find out about um, this particular manufacturer. Let's pull some more stuff out of here. I'm still accumulating um, earrings, you know, single earrings. So I think I'll leave those to the very end. That's an earring. That's not an earring. Those are earrings. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff. Let me just. Uh oh. Just detangling or untangling. Uh, I think I've seen the match for that. Oh no, maybe no. Yeah, I think I've seen the match for that earring. So there's another earring. Some pins. Another earring. Link. Alrighty. Another stick pin. Okay, cool. Somebody must have liked stick pins. Earring. Alrighty. Earring. Okay, so let's take a look at this bunch of stuff. Here is one of the uh, rose pins that you see so many of and this one's quite nice still and uh, not lost very much if any of its uh, of its red color I don't know if those are bent a little bit more than they should be might be nice with a little you know center something in there here's a bracelet from Cuba it's a little leather bracelet. Interestingly, you know, simple wire construction and uh, nicely put together. Nice little tourist piece. Here's one of those great big hair clips. My daughter might like that. What is this? feathers in a circle and it's oh it's a 
a scarf clip. It's very lightweight. I don't know if it has any special significance with the design. But well, in good shape if somebody likes a, needs a scarf clip. Here is a teddy bear pin. Now, is there a name in there? No. Don't see a manufacturer's name. Um, I don't know. He... He looks like he could be vintage. I don't, what do you think? He doesn't doesn't look like the kind of styles you would see being made nowadays. Um, but I've been wrong before. I'd almost want to clean that paint off because it's that it's pretty rough and ready, and it doesn't actually. Especially on the body here and the ears. Doesn't exactly enhance the design. Um, and very pointed nose. I wonder if he's supposed to be a red panda with that pointy nose and that coloration. There's some research for me to do. There's another pin. This is the stick pin that I saw. It's a little, I guess it's maybe supposed to be a hummingbird. It's nice that the stick pins all have the ends on them and no marking and it's two-sided it's a little angrier looking on that side than on this side so there's a, a third stick pin oh here's another bookmark and it's some lovely butterfly that's nice what is this um this is a like a lapel pin from Marvel, so obviously a a Marvel character. Uh, one of my grandkids could tell me who this is, and then I could see if it has any collectible value. Um, this is heavy. I like it. Okay, it's a. I don't know if that's paint. It's almost like. Yeah, these beads have flecks of paint on. They're interesting. I don't know. I don't know. So the very it's very heavy. I like these with the little uh, green kind of peridot colored um, cabochons in the center. These are chipped. Ah, okay. So you can see. I wonder why, because the black would probably be quite nice. I bet if I chipped all that paint off, threw them in some acetone, I bet this would be really quite lovely. With, Because you can't, I mean, with all that chipping, it's not worth, I mean, and the stretch is, it's, you know, it's got its stretch pretty much. Very interesting. Um, I'm just sort of casually turning it over to see if I can see Maker's Mark. I'm very interesting. I've never seen something where they've put a pearlish coating on top of black beads. I'll show you. I'll have to show you what this looks like when I if I take all the coating off. Because I think in black it's going to look pretty good too. Repair pile. Now this is a little tangled. Please uh, bear with me. I'm going to try to go from the center here, or what looks like the center, up to the clasp. That's not working. Okay, let's undo the clasp. And we'll Kind of shake it all out. Now it's still a real mess. Up here, let's see if it'll gently pull apart. There's one, two, three, four strands. We'll 
one, two, three, four. Oh. So what's this part here that's all of a tangle? One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I think I'm beginning to see that this is a very long necklace with just a tiny bit of a tangle over here. There's the one side. There's the other side. And this, this section here is a little messed up. Well, okay, so it's a four-strand chain necklace. And this is one side, and the other side should untangle and become nice and neat and... I'm just not sure how to get there. So there, anyway, that's good enough. I think these are, they're all plastic. These are metal. So there's two sides the same. They're just too tangled for me. I'll untangle that and probably donate it on. Then there's this. It's not sure if it's supposed to be silver tone and is tarnished modernish class but it's a, a nice twisted chain it's a good weight it would you just need to shine it up and see how wearable it is let's uh let's see nine oh 18 maybe 22 24 inches Something to explore. Here's a oh, here's an illusion necklace of oh pearls. If I can get it to hang straight, I might just pass it on. It's it's on. Um, they're glued in place on this fishing line, this monofilament. So. And then there's this. I thought this was an interesting pendant when I saw it pull out. It feels like a piece of shell. There's a rough, yeah, rough piece of wire on the front there. There's some beads wired into the center, hung off of uh, more wire and our flexible cord. Yeah, it's too bad there's this funny chip on that side because that side seems almost, well, maybe not. Maybe the, well, it's hard to tell. I think this side looks better in terms of the placement of the beads because there's a, extra loops of wire on this side and there and there and that are rough. So maybe it just needs, I don't know, flipped over, but then that thing there. Ah, Thinking about it too much, Pat. Here's um, a plastic Christmas tree pin made in China. Russ. Not sure how how old this is. Kind of thing you buy when you you know at the card shop these days. But there's another piece of a Christmas pin that can be uh, donated. And let's get another handful of stuff here. Okay, so. Another rosary. So I think that's oh, that's a nice, nice cross on there. That's a pretty rosary. Look at those pretty beads. Um, I wonder if it's got oh, two thousand Ave Maria. Very nice. That's is that's, a, that's a much nicer than the plastic ones, but I think that's number seven or eight in terms of rosaries. Here's a shell. That's got the uh, gold tone around the edges. They didn't. It's an interesting. They didn't pick a a perfect shell, but uh, it's a lightweight scallop style shell pendant. Um. Whoops, sorry. So 
much for the camera. I'm going to throw that to the side. Here's a lovely glass pendant. Uh, just some little dirt in the back on a suede cord. So I'll probably take, I will definitely take it off the cord and try to make a nice necklace out of that. Or a nicer necklace, I guess one could call, could say. Is that an earring or a pin? Well, this is a pin. And what does this side look like? It looks like all of the little rhinestones are gone. That one's kind of yellow. One, two, three. There's four in there. I wonder if they're gone or if they just never were there. Because those are really flat rhinestone holes. It wouldn't... Hard to hold the rhinestones. I mean, you could put one there and you could put one there. You could glue them in and they'd stay, but... Hmm. Interesting. I might take these out and put different colors in there. Oh, interesting to find out where, what this used to be or where it used to... What? Yeah, what it used to look like. Here's... A very lightweight necklace. You can see that the gold beads have pink underneath them. I wonder what the faux pearls have underneath them. It's tied together there, so I don't see I don't see a, a clasp anywhere. I wonder how old that is. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Here's something we probably got as a tourist necklace. There's no clasp. This isn't a clasp. Those are a couple of, these are seeds, 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 some bright beads. I don't know if that's a seed too, that red one. Um, well, it might go over my head. I didn't think it was that long, but interesting. Here's a, these are red plastic faceted beads strung on monofilament. They are surprising. I'm, I'm surprising that they're isn't a class. I'm not sure how old these are. It's not the kind of thing you think that they're still making today. They're not, um, you know, the best quality plastic because the seams are very visible. But maybe that's a feature rather than a flaw. Not too sure. Um, this is a statement pendant. I don't see any maker's mark. This is uh, like rubber cord, four strands of rubber cord. Nothing on the back. Nice aluminum. It needs a good cleaning in there. Very wearable still. It, yeah. I'm trying to think of what decade. Definitely, I think, in the 2000s, but not recent. That's... Oh, that's an earring. Um, put it off to the side and see if we get the partner, the meat for it. And this is a substantial necklace. Yes. Oh, another Tresca necklace. I wonder if somebody had a bunch of these and made them. I love these great big acrylic beads. They are, they are nice. I mean, there's, there's some weight to this, but this is, these are very nice. They're good quality. These, these bits here that are supposed to look like coral really fail, but um, 
The beads are nice. I don't know if these are... I think those are plastic. Yeah. So, interesting necklace. Another Tresca piece. So, that's two Tresca pieces in here. Interesting. Um, oh, hey, we saw one of these already. Put it off to the side over here. Oh, I'm not too sure where it is. Yeah, we saw a piece just like this, and I said it, pro it you know, it probably went on a chain. Let's see. Okay. Is that something that, oh, that doesn't belong on here. Okay, so here's a three-strand necklace. We've got the silver chain with the gold tone and then a gold ball chain with a is that a silvery drop and another one with a silvery drop lobster claw clasp and again another tresca piece well that's interesting so three tresca pieces um and Part. What did I do with that other part? Just let me figure out. There it is. So we found this in the first half. So I wonder where it belongs. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna stop there. It's almost 20 minutes. It's over 20 minutes, and. Uh, there's a lot to go through still, but I think uh, finding some very interesting, unusual pieces, things I've never seen before. And I'll, I'll have to do a lot more Tresca jewelry research, and this will be interesting to see what happens when that white stuff is taken off the beads. Well, thanks for joining me today. Look at all that white stuff flaking on the table. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye now from Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes.